Hello everyone, Savari Tech here and in this tutorial I will show you how to get Windows on a Mac. So the first thing you need to do is look up VirtualBox and click on the VirtualBox.org website. Once you open this, since we're um, using a Mac, so we'll go to downloads here and um, there are two kinds of uh, installers. If you're using a Mac with an M1 or M2 chip, you will use this link. If you're using a Mac with an Intel chip, which are the following MacBooks, you will use this link. So this Mac is using an Intel processor, so we will use this link. You click on save here to get your DMG. You can click on it and we will open this application install page where you'll double click on the package um, allow it to install and allow it special accesses it's a very safe software so you should be all right if it asks you for permission and accessibility just allow it um, I've installed it on this computer before a while ago so it retains the permissions but for you you just have to uh, allow it for the first time and if you need help with any of those, let me know in the comments and I'll be able to reach out to you. Um, once you get that done, we'll open it. I like to do command spacebar and look up the apps directly. So I'll open VirtualBox here and um, I'll go add a Windows ISO. So to get a Windows ISO, you will go to Windows 10 ISO download, of course, you can put 11. I like to use uh, iTechTix website, but if you're on a Mac, it'll actually let you download it from the official Microsoft website. Um, if you can't find it once again, just use, just put this behind it, and the first website that comes up, iTechTix, you should find links to download the ISO. I'll take it from the official Microsoft website. I'll download the 64-bit version. Once you have the ISO download, you won't be using it there, but you'll click on new here. You'll give it a name. Under ISO image, you'll select other. Then you will browse to where your ISO is downloaded, probably your downloads folder, but mine will be in another folder. Mine is on this folder. I'll click on it, open. Next, I'll put a custom password. Of course, y'all can see this because I'm gonna delete it right after. Um, click next here. I give it 4096 megabytes which is four gigabytes of RAM. Hit next. Actually, scratch that. I'll go for 6,000. That doesn't leave much for your Mac, but um, it depends on how much RAM you have. You probably wanna split it in half, really, uh, realistically. I'll, I'll keep it with five. 5,000. Next, next next and after you do that you can it'll probably power on by itself you can close the notification panel on the right side it's starting it let's close the notification panel on this right side here and as you can see it's very tiny right and that's not good for seeing as well right so what I'm gonna do here is I'll click on this desktop type symbol and go on virtual screen one and scale it to about 150 so don't scale it too much because if you do like if you put it at a 200 um, also it depends on your screen you have to adjust that based on your screen but for my screen 150 works best because if I scale it too much then the start menu won't appear and the taskbar won't appear so 
I'll keep it at 150 and I'm using a 13 inch MacBook right now. You can close this notification panel. After you set it up, you'll be able to enlarge this and make it bigger for your eyes and everything in com comfort. So I just go through this setup as usual. It's pretty intuitive. And I'll see you on the other side where we will fix the appearance. Once you go through the normal setup routine, it will bring you here. And from there on, I will go to display settings while it's loading. Let's go to full screen. Then I'll show, the, show this again. Switch. When you go to full screen here, it's still tiny, but when you scroll down, go on display resolution. Choose, I'll choose 1600 by 1200 and keep the changes. And now I have a normal size screen on my laptop, pretty much. It all depends on the aspect ratio of your computer, the screen size and all. And you might want to adjust for yourself, but yeah, that works for me. And when it comes to RAM and performance, as you can see, this is a little bit slow on mine. It's because I don't have much RAM on my MacBook, but for yours, it might be a little bit faster if you have more RAM and more uh, processor speed and things as such. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I enjoyed making it for you. Help me reach my goal of uh, getting a thousand subscribers on this channel. And like this video to boost it up. Uh, I appreciate your help in advance. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.